Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Old World. It's a Forex strategy game that released last year on the Epic Game Store as an Epic exclusive. It's now gearing up for a Steam release next month and alongside that Steam release comes its first expansion, Heroes of the Aegean. Here you can see, and thanks to Hooded Horse for hooking me up with early access to a preview demo build of the expansion, I have access to the Heroes of Aegean scenarios. One, two, three, four, not five, but six as well. Uh, the Heroes of the Aegean expansion contains uh, several scenarios, as I understand it, throughout Greek history, starting with, as you can see, the Battle of Marathon, and working their way through until after Alexander the Great. So with a beautiful soundtrack in the background, and acknowledging that the game is gearing up for its Steam release next month, this expansion releasing for free for the first two weeks, for anybody who claims it. And considering I have this early access preview, now seems like a brilliant time to step back into Old World, a game which has also seen a huge number of updates, by the way, since I last played it on the channel, indeed since it released uh, nearly a year ago on the Epic Games Store. So let's jump in and have a look, firstly, at what the game looks like now as it gears up for its Steam release, and secondly, what kind of flavors the Heroes of the Aegean uh, DLC expansion will be adding. So, old enemies, Greece, uh, this is you, and Persia, have been bitter rivals. Two years ago, a Persian fleet invaded us, and it didn't go so hot. Subjugation. Uh, we've recently heard word that Persia intends to assault Athenae directly. All right, let's have a look, first of all, and see what we're actually dealing with here. So... So here I am, here's Athena. If I take my eyes down to the bottom right hand side of the screen, I can see what is undoubtedly the red Persian. Yep, the Persian fleet. Yikes. Just beside Marathon here. Okay. Uh, back over to Athena. I can see some little green. Okay, this looks to be a, a, a little polis, a little city state uh, type deal. And then way down here, we have Sparta, who have a million dudes. So, please help. Given the animosity that was introduced in the introduction, I feel like probably a good idea to move up this way. So, if you're unfamiliar, Old World works on a really interesting uh, orders-based system. Orders are generated per turn or per, per day in this case, and um, I can use them how I like across different units. In the actual game, of course, when you're playing a proper single player uh, experience, you'll have access to the full suite of all of the uh, economic and so forth actions as well that can also use orders. But it looks to me like we have bigger fish to fry than whether we want to trade some resources today. Although I, I could indeed get up here and buy some iron or stone or what have you. But no, what I'm gonna do instead is uh, take a look at these hoplites and shuffle them, I guess, just kind of this way-ish, right? Like, I feel like the, the units that are down here probably want to be more, uh, uh, at least in Athenai, surely. So I'm about to run out of orders. I might just perhaps bring a few units just a little bit closer. Uh, also, I should probably jump into the city and queue up some extra dudes. Let's just queue up a whole load of hoplites so I don't have to worry and then we'll end the day. Rest my weary head as the camera ominously hands toward the Persians. Oh, holy. Oh my God. We started a new goal. Block the exits from the plane of Marathon. That would be a very good idea. The landing at Marathon. So the Persian army have landed their forces. It's clear that they intend to invade Athenai. We stand little chance. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. Uh, if we rush to block the, uh, the the two exits, the Persians will not be able to mount a quick assault. Playing for time seems like a brilliant strategy. Uh, as luck would have it, we already have one dude blocking what I assume are the four tiles that I need to block here. So there's a huge number of, of, of cavalry. Makes me think that uh, hoplites here is is, is probably a good shout. So I'm going to use some orders to bring them here and also use a couple of cheeky orders to fortify as well. May as well fortify this one too. And then can I get one extra body up here? And actually, if we think ahead a little bit, I might want to bring everybody just a bit closer. 
I have three turns after all. So I'm imagining I don't need to rush in right now, right here, drop everything. And I could probably play for time a little bit. So I might do that. Just avoid that just in case. Some archers in, uh, in the back. Go on. Uses a lot of orders to run over this way, as you can see. Um, but we will hoon one over that way. Likewise, you get over there too, Cheek. And you might as well fill in the... Okay, cool. Filling in that blank did indeed complete it. Uh, we've blocked the exits. Brilliant. Uh, right, so enemy scouts have certainly spotted our movements, <laughs> as you would imagine. Um, but they haven't moved significantly towards us. Eth and I can't stand alone. We must request assistance from Sparta. Seems like a great idea. We know they have a lot of dudes. Yeah, okay. We must immediately dispatch a messenger to Sparta, informing the Persian army, informing them that there's a Persian army near Marathon. And if we fall, uh, they won't be safe for much longer. So get your backsides over here and help us. Totally agree. Uh, send a runner from Athens to deliver the message to Sparta. Oh, a runner, you say? A runner. Okay. <laughs> Neat. The hero. Absolute hero, all right. It's a shame it's got such a long name. We'll call him Phil for short. Mm. Dippy? Uh, stupid trivial nicknames aside. It's time to get running. Let's just hone him over there. And then back over with the rest of the troops. Uh, I could probably look to promote a few of them, right? May as well, like I could do, for example, uh, promote so that it gets 10% strength versus damaged units or extra strength when it's damaged itself. That tends to be a very good promotion for a player like me to take in these kind of games. Uh, I kind of like the idea of one of them. That some of, Wow, there is a lot. Some of these guys at the front being promoted with extra vision as well, just in case. We've probably got these front lines fairly well covered. Not enough to defend against this. Uh, but should be well covered enough that hopefully if we can get some reinforcements from our mates down at Sparta, we might just be okay. So let's rest our head, end the weary day, and with my 16 orders, I'm going to zoom across the map here, <laughs> over to our messenger, and just beeline all the way. We had a new unit trained here in Athenai, so <laughs> if the Spartans don't come through... I have more where that came from. Good. We're just running past Argos, having a really great old time, actually, as I hoon along these roads. Sparta is within spitting distance now. And in you go. Okay. The Literally the marathon run. There you go. You're getting a little history education at the same time. How good. Uh, <laughs> our absolute hero made it to Sparta in time. And the Spartans would also like to see Persia defeated and are ready to assist us, but no sooner than in a fortnight. So I'm... So I'm... So I'm alone? Huh? Alone? Alone? Sparta is currently celebrating the local festival. Which is of such importance that no military action may be undertaken. After a period of rest, our runner will return, but he will do so alone. Spartans will not stop feasting even to save Greece. Uh, I mean, what would you do? I know what I'd do. Well, looks like we're just ending the day and <laughs> waiting to see what happens. Okay. Persia's turn. They have like 80 orders or something down there I saw. They have a ludicrous number of orders. Um, so we're discussing plans on how to defend the city from Persia. And we notice the nearby polis. Our little green dudes from the start. They are keen, unexpectedly, to come and help us defend. And I've got three units. And I can also actually control these ones up here as well. That's kind of neat. <laughs> neat. Uh, but for the time being, let's hoon these ones over to the front line. They're not mine. So I feel even better. Uh, I feel even better about sending them to the front line. Ooh, and I've got some of my own units extra as well. So I guess I could help a brother out. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll also throw one of our units out there. It's kind of like a, hey, we're, we're ready to, we'll sacrifice ourselves too. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, oh, now is the time to strike. Persian cavalry's boarded the ships, which have set sail along the coast. This is certainly an attempt to bypass our land blockade. Yeah, I didn't really... 
I didn't actually think about that. And reach out the night by water. Uh, we could probably get back there in time. Without Sparta fighting by our side, we can't muster enough forces to defend from both directions. So our only move is to attack the troops at Marathon now. Stark Gold destroy the Persian army. Let's do it. Let's get the show on the road. Uh, you can go first. Because you're not me. Love it. What I'm going to try. Whoa. Okay. So uh, doing that second move has triggered something. The votes were split evenly on whether to attack now or wait reinforcements. The eyes have it. Push them back to the sea. Okay, very good. Right, so it's done. It's 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 confirmed now. You've decided you want to fight us. You're stuck with it now, you big chumps. It's basically what they just said. So let's bring some archers within range so that they can at least strike. Tuck them in behind uh, my friendly units here. I'll like to go in with a big flank move here with my cavalry. Yeah, nice. <laughs> really good. Uh, and then you can stomp down here as well. Can we get any extra confirmed kills? Nope, we're completely out of orders. Let's see what the Persians have got. Thankfully, half of their units, and ironically, all of their cavalry, which I was <laughs> there ready to defend, uh, jumped away and hopped back in their boats. My cavalry is, looks to be, anyway, turning into a punching bag <laughs> for their archers. Damage coming in. Sometimes it looks like they're throwing rocks at me, but they certainly outnumber us. I reckon they're going to take out a couple of units here. Not helped by the fact that this patriarch is drunk. <laughs> I love it. Oh, look at our runner is exhausted. Yeah, it's expected. Okay, anyway, back to the task at hand. With those cavalry units out of the way in particular, I feel like we should be able to dust this off. What I'd like to do is, is clear the way here for us to move through. Move my units through. So let me get an extra bad boy up here. This one through that way as well. So that I can start to get value out of this flank, which was otherwise just going to sit here and stare at the horses out at sea and think, oh, could have been me. Could have been me. Archers, time to fire. Let's focus fire. And take that guy out. I don't want to open myself up to too many uh, flank attacks, but... I love the idea of just yeeting the chariot into the middle of the action. Sorry, friend. I do note that later in the scenarios, uh, they get sort of more more and more and more interesting. Scenario four plays the widow, Queen Olympias, as she shepherd the young Alexander the Great into leadership. I mean, it certainly does live, live up to its name, Old World. Like, what a brilliant representation. Speaking of, actually, have a look at the uh, combat the, the really unique combat breakdown here as well. You look over on the left-hand side of the screen, and if I hover over a couple of different units, you can see a little animation of either side, which is very cool, but also into the detail as well, right? Things like promotion, distance, attack damage, base damage. Everything is there, and it's really cool. Uh, this unit is up on high ground, which is kind of a bit crappy, but I think we'll go with our Blitzkrieg strategy, which has served me well so far. This archer is an absolute badass get up there and sort of defend these archers from any incoming attack although as i look across this army they are really just left with a whole load of archers and that's it their cavalry jumping into the sea can't help but feel a bit of a faux pas i'm not gonna lie a little bit of a faux pas who have we got left you get in there <laughs> And I don't want to get too ahead of myself. We've got five days left to destroy the Persian army to complete the goal and successfully defend the city. I feel like we can probably crack it with maybe even three days to spare. Although they are lining themselves up nicely hiding in the forest there. Persia is now at peace with Sparta. I don't know how I feel about that. Move in. Try and use as, as few uh, of my orders as I have to maneuvering my units around so that I can spend some extra ones bringing people into a better position like this archer here getting ready to fight that one nice in that day and I think we're gonna do it with not quite as many as I'd hoped but with two days to spare as I round this out we'll end one more day and give this poor sod one more shot of his arrows <laughs> oh I'm sorry friend it has to be. I'm going to bring my archer in so that it can steal the limelight from this one a little bit. There we go. It's got to be said, this guy 
ended in a very well defended position, but it just wasn't enough. And just like that, victory is ours. Really? That's it? Persian flanks were no match for our disciplined hoplites. Persian center had no hope once surrounded. Brilliant. Greek casualties were few. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. This guy ran into the water after a Persian ship grabbed it with his hands and then had them sliced clean off. Yikes. Oh. Either way, Greek did not fall to King Darius. Brilliant. Oh, boom. And just like that. Scenario one, we successfully led Athens in the famous battle of Marathon. I'm keen to play more of this, and I know it's a, a huge time for strategy games. Even if you just look at what Hooded Horse are doing alone, but then when you compare out to the wider genre as well, we're doing Spice Wars, we've got Old World and its Steam release and its expansion pack. We've got a big update for Humankind on the cards coming out very soon. We've got Falling Frontier and a whole load of other 4 x space games. But if you'd like to see me play some more Old World, whether it's these scenarios or if you would prefer me to jump in and give a look at more of a full game, a full playthrough uh, with the likes of some of these wonderful historical leaders, um, it's received a lot of updates and I would be keen to play it more if you'd like to. Whether it's recorded content or live streams, I really don't mind. With that, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for joining me for this first look at the what will be free for the first two weeks of its release. The very first expansion for Old World, Heroes of the Aegean. A quick preview look inside this demo build. Thanks to Hooded Horse. I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks very much everybody. I'll see you next time.